Hi everyone, my name is Corey, and today we're going to look at the Quilter's Perfect Clip by Clip It. We're going to look at all the different varieties, the different uses, and everything you can do with them. I'm here with a special guest today, and she's going to show us how they're used. So, let's get started! So our special guest today is Alice, and she is going to show us some of the uses. So what do you use these uh, Quilter's Perfect Clips for? I have all kinds of things I use them for. Okay. I use them in my quilting, mm -hmm. I use them in my sewing, I use them in crafts, um, use them in my office when I'm and when I'm sewing, I'll put my patterns up on the wall. I, I mean, so they have a variety of uses, tons of different of uses. uses. Okay, yeah. cool. And today I'm going to show you how to bind. Oh, that's great because we all know I don't like to piece and I don't like to bind. So maybe this will make it easier for me to line up everything. No pins. No pins. Oh, that's even perfect. Okay, so let's see. So first, I want to show you the difference. Okay. There are others on the market. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and try them. Okay, That's the so first thing. Try by opening them? Yeah. Okay, so is this the, these are the this other competitors? These are the other competitors. Okay. So it's a lot smaller. Okay, a I've got bigger smaller. hands, so I've got to get in there. So, oh, it takes a lot of force to open that, a, a lot, actually. Okay. Much, much harder yeah. to use. Well, I think what's, what's harder about it is they're so small. Yeah. It's hard to get your grip on them, and then, I mean, they have that, you know, piece in that's holding it. So are these the, these are the Quilter's Perfect Clip yes. ones? Yes. Okay. So at first view, they're a lot bigger, Okay. Um, and that's a lot easier to open. I've got more surface area to open those up since they're a lot bigger. I find that, okay. And I find it a lot easier because yeah. of that. The other reason I like these is we have the actual measurements. It's clear on top, mm -hmm. they're larger, they're easier to open, mm -hmm. but we have a quarter inch and a half inch. So it makes oh. it much easier when I'm quilting or sewing or whatever. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing a project where I'm sewing mm -hmm. and I don't want to pin, mm -hmm. I just pin my two pieces put my two pieces together mm -hmm. and clip it and, and so off to the races. Okay. So I don't have to use pins. So perfect right. for when you're teaching children how to sew too. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is what I do with them when I'm binding. Okay. So I have my first, you know, binding sewed on my side. Right. So I'm flipping it over. Mm-hmm. And what I'm wanting to do is I want to set it at a quarter inch mm -hmm. because I'm gonna run my sewing machine right here along the edge. So my stitch is right here in the ditch, so that I have the perfect binding. So I'm marking the outside mm -hmm. of the binding with whatever mark I want. Correct. So either the quarter inch or half an inch. Right. And then when you run your hopping foot down the side, it's going to you know graze the side of that, yeah, and, and then I, stitch down. Yeah, and I'm actually be using a zipper foot on it. Oh, zipper foot. Okay, so we'll look at that later too. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. I was trying to figure out how the markings would make sense when you're putting these on but now I can see one you can see through them obviously so you can see right down the side but then you're gonna follow down with your zipper foot to stitch down to get it right in that ditch okay that's Correct. cool and the other thing that's really awesome about these mm -hmm. is when I come to do my corners mm -hmm. so I'm coming down here and you know making perfect corners on a quilt they always want to slip right so I have my corner and I take and I put that on and guess what so it's together, together. Oh, okay. So that makes so much easier so that I end up with a good 45 degree angle. Right. And when I'm sewing, I come up and come across and everything's going to stay in place. So in the corner, am I still following that same I'm quarter inch mark on the outside of it? Okay. Correct. Gotcha. So you're still. not having to kind of guess where it's out on the corner. You're still following that same um, one mm -hmm. to get that perfect angle. Okay. Right. So that way, all of them are identical for me. Okay. I think even I could do that. And that's saying because like you, we all know I don't, I'm not a big binding or a piecing person. <laughs> I do the quilting, you do the piecing and the binding. So I think using this is a really nice guide. And so can you put these all the way across? Yes. The whole side of the quilt, and they're going to stay on as I go through. And just, yes. Okay. And I'm going to show you that by sewing a little piece for you. Okay, so let's move over to the sewing machine and see how it works. So on the sewing machine, I use my zipper foot, mm -hmm. and I put my needle all the way over. Okay. Almost all sewing machines out have that capability. Okay. So I'm just going to sew right along the edge, and as you can see, I can sew, keep going, right along there. And it's just... It just does it. Hmm. So it's just following right directly along the side. You can even leave them on, too. Yes. Yeah, you can leave them on or take them off. Right. Um, a lot of times I just leave them on, and then it allows it so that you... Have your binding done. And you can just stay right down the side and then just mm -hmm. pop these off and whenever it's over. Yep. Okay. Not too bad. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like them. They make 
quilting uh, binding a whole lot easier. Alrighty, so we are done with the project piece of it. Um, so now sitting here watching you do it, I think I can take a pair of some of these home and bind my own quilt, because I do have a sewing machine at home, regardless of what people think. I do have a sewing machine <laughs> at home, um, even though I do like to use a lawnmower, I do have a sewing machine. So uh, watching you do it and seeing it and actually using them, it's really, really simple to use these. Yes. Um, this flat bottom, they're clear. It has seam markers for me. Yes. I, it, it's, they're, they're saving me from myself, basically, and it's just, I don't know. I'm actually re I'm really really impressed um, on how easy it is to put this together. So. Well, I love using them. Yeah, I I, th I think they're really cool. They're something that a lot of people um, would also get some awesome use out of them. So here at Linda's Leisure Quilters, we sell them in a 25 count pack and a 50 count pack. Okay. And so the link for these are up right here below, or below, up here, <laughs> if you would like to purchase them. Also, um, one cool thing to remember about these is there is a lifetime guarantee through the manufacturer for these awesome. for these clips. So I think that's really, really nifty and really, really cool to give um, quilters that ability to have that peace of mind um, for these quilt clips. So, alrighty. Well, thank you so much for be being with us today. Alice, thank you for being with us today. Um, make sure you remember to subscribe to our channel so you get the notifications on the latest videos that we have. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and from all of us here at Linda's Lecture Quilters, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.